Hi, today we are going to talk about menstrual cup. So this is a much needed one. So we'll look about it, okay, how to use, like we'll go several myths about this menstrual cup. Uh, this is a sustainable product uh, that we use for sanitary purposes. It's a female hygiene product. Uh, to be very specific, it's a menstruator product. It's highly sustainable and eco-friendly. So uh, one cup will come for like 250 or it, it, it starts from 250 and it uh, goes like 2,500, 3,000. But if you are getting one cup, it will come for even 10 years. So this menstrual cup, okay, this is literally a savior for several menstruators out there. Anyone can use this menstrual cup. You can give it a try. So the thing is, it comes in several sizes, like small, medium, uh, large, okay? So mostly if you are like uh, unmarried, if you, if you haven't given birth, if you are sexually inactive, to be very open, if you are sexually inactive, if you haven't given any birth, so you can go with a small size cup, okay? And each and every brand, uh, brand comes with their own instruction, like how to choose uh, the sizes at all. Whenever you start a period cycle, you have to sterilize it, first of all, okay? And after completing a period cycle, again, you have to sterilize it. In between, for each and every time, you don't need to sterilize this. Uh, you can just remove it from your, remove from your vagina, and you can just uh, clean it with the water and uh, soap, okay? And then you can reinsert it. So meanwhile, and you have to be in a squatting position whenever you insert this menstrual cup or else in a position that is really very comfortable to insert this menstrual cup, okay? So this will not be really painful. There are several folds for inserting this menstrual cup, okay? So this one is a soft cup, okay? It, uh, it belongs to size S. Yes. You can try different uh, folds like uh, this, is, this one is called C fold, okay? And another one, seven fold. Okay, or else punch down fold. This one is my favorite. Actually, this worked for me. Okay, so you can make several folds with this menstrual cup and you can make this beginning a little shorter so that it will be very easy for you. Okay, please make sure that you are really very calm. Okay, sit in a squatting position or keep your legs wide spread. Okay, so that it will be very easy for you to insert this cup. And if you are like really uh, uh, like very fearful towards inserting this menstrual cup or else if you have certain kind of anxiety towards inserting this menstrual cup, concentrate on your breath, okay? The more you keep your jawline relaxed, your pelvic floor will be really relaxed, okay? So that's a strong association between your jawline and your pelvis. So if you are like doing, oh, okay, this is going to hurt, okay, something like this. If you're clenching your jaw, of course, your pelvis will be like, uh, it will be like tightening, okay? So if you are like tightening your pelvis, of course, if you insert this uh, menstrual cup, it will be really, uh, it will cause some discomfort, pain for sure, okay? So make sure to keep your body relaxed, keep your jawline relaxed so that your pelvic flow will also be relaxed, okay? So sit comfortably, concentrate on your breath, okay? And then insert it with some other for like a C fold or punch down or whatever, okay? So if you are, if this is your vagina, okay? Use your two finger or else three finger. Okay, so slowly insert it. Okay, once it goes inside, of course, it will have a little pop. Okay, so that uh, and make sure to give a little rotation. Okay, so that there will not be any hole, so you will not have any leakages. Okay, so which is the right uh, place to place this menstrual cup? Means it should not be like really high. It should not be like really low. If it is like this, of course, when you're walking, it will be really disturbing. And if you if you don't need the stem, you can just simply cut it, okay, if you feel like. And there are several brands which come uh, like uh, without this uh, menstrual stem. So it is totally your preference to have the stem or not to have the stem. So you can insert it. Uh, you can keep it like this low, okay, not this low, okay. It will not be like, it is not a proper position. You have to keep it like this low. Okay, and not very high or else it will be like really difficult for you to remove it. Okay, and while removing it, the most important thing should be noted is, so just same sit in the squatting position and place your finger, okay, and give a little punch here, okay, a little small pinch is fine. So that the suction will be, okay, suction will be out. And if you remove it, it will not cause any discomfort or any pain, okay. The most important mistake that people do here is 
we just simply pull it out like this okay so when the suction breaks suddenly of course it will cause more pain okay so to avoid it you have to just make sure that when you reach this reach this base okay you have to give a small pinch break the suction and then gently pull it down it will not cause any discomfort or pain okay you are good to go menstrual cups are made up of medically graded silicon this is totally fine comparatively uh, for this uh, sanitary pad they used more dioxin plastic there are several chemicals involved in sanitary pad same tampons is also like it is not highly recommended comparatively than any other sanitary product this menstrual cup is totally safe because it is made up of medically graded silicon and the risk of getting infection is like quite low when compared to the other men, uh, sanitary product and most important thing is people fear about this toxic shock syndrome uh, so far there are only there is one one case listed under this toxic shock syndrome for by using this menstrual cup okay that is very rare make sure you have to use this cup for uh, like 12 hours not more than that okay if for the first cycle if you are just a beginner for this menstrual cup you can just remove it every 5 hours once or 6 hours once okay it depends on the flow it depends on the uh, each and every woman it varies okay so in the first cycle you can just remove it uh, every 5 hours once so that you get a clear picture uh, how is your flow everything okay so in the next cycle of course you will be like well versed in this okay so the maximum time to keep this menstrual cup inside your body is 12 hours okay you have to remove it maximum of every from every 12 hours so if you are having any issues like if you are having fever or if you are having vomiting diarrhea please do visit your doctor immediately but the chances are like really low okay and that one percentage okay it it, uh, it is usually because they keep this menstrual cup for more than like 24 hours something like this okay when compared to the other menstrual products like usual pad, uh, sanitary pad and then tampons if you take this usual sanitary pad it will uh, take some 500 to 800 years to decompose okay our period cycle is a very sacred thing according to me so with the sacred thing we don't want to harm our environment okay and it is not only about the environment you are also harming your own body because it is made up of dioxin and several other harmful chemicals that will actually disturb your vaginal ph level okay it will affect your fertility for some not for everyone but the chances are like really prevalent when you take this tampon of course toxic shock syndrome is more associated with tampons and if it is a super absorbency uh, tampon of course it will cause some uh, lesions in your cervix so that's really bad about it so comparatively menstrual cup is such a safe uh, and a very feel good product okay it is a kind of real freedom for women if you are facing leakage while using this menstrual cup of course it is not uh, fitting in your uh, cervix properly okay so if you are a beginner i would recommend you to go for a small soft cup okay so this is like extremely soft cup there are some uh, variants which comes with a, a little a bit of trimness okay so the more uh, trim uh, less the leakage chances okay in soft cup that will be uh, leakage of course if, uh, if you are not inserting it properly if the hole is like not opening in your cervix of course that will be leakage so even if you are using a very soft cup make sure to just rotate it okay if you are rotating it like this of course it will pop up okay so if it fits properly there will not be any leakage <laughs>